My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of Joyride and I thought the trailer to this movie was terrible. But the reviews have been overwhelmingly positive. It's got a 91% on Rotten Tomatoes and everybody says it's a total blast. Everybody says it's better than the trailers. Everybody says it's hilarious. So I gave this movie the benefit of the doubt and what the fuck is everybody else talking about? I'm completely baffled by the positivity behind this movie. This movie isn't even remotely funny. My theater was pretty empty but there were still like 10 other people. Just dead silence the entire time. Nobody laughed. Nor should they. There's just, you know, like, you gotta have smart humor and good writing, and this movie just relies on crude and crass humor and just. It's just to an excessive degree. Like, every joke in this movie has to do about a character talking about either pussy, dick, balls, or sex and just rinse and repeat the entire movie and it gets stale and annoying really fast and just nothing about it worked for me. You know, it's not even like the humor's original. We've seen this kind of joke plenty of times in the past and I, I was just shocked at how unfunny this movie actually is. And then you've got the cast and nobody impressed me. Ashley Park by default gives the best performance, but I was still left underwhelmed by her. Uh, Sherry Cola, I thought was very annoying and just didn't work for me. Uh, Sabrina Wu is really annoying, like she's just unbearable here. And Stephanie Hsu, I just don't think is that good of an actress and this movie is no exception. And the main friendship between these four characters I never bought into for a second. Every element of the writing just felt so incredibly forced. There's nothing authentic here. And this movie's also got no sense of structure or pace or story like it begins with one girl needing to go to China for a business trip and she brings her friend to translate. And then it becomes about one of the girl's parents and then it becomes about this um, train ride that goes wrong and then it just kind of feels like they don't know how to drag this movie out and it just gets more and more over the top but not in a good way. There's just no sense of plot, it just feels like things happen. And I can forgive that if the movie's funny, but like I said, this movie isn't, so it just lacks in plot, it, it, it's paced very poorly. For an hour and a half long movie, I checked the time a lot during it, it just dragged for me. And there's one character who's meant to be this over the top religious dude and he's engaged to one of the girls and he doesn't know about her past. And all I'll say is that I really hated the direction this story went. The only positive I'll give this movie is that there's a minor plot regarding a character and her identity and how she feels like she's too American to be Chinese but she's still too Chinese to be American and all of that was definitely the best aspect but it just gets lost among all the vulgarity. You know it's just like there's actually a really solid story there that if you leaned into it more and you dialed the raunchiness back a bit this could have been a good movie. But it's just got too much going on. None of it works. Uh, the cast I thought did a really bad job. 
the movie is never funny. Like, it is irritating. And, yeah, like, I... I think uh, I think her name's Adele Lim is the director. Uh, she did a very bad job here, and I'm trying to, yeah. Uh, I'll go ahead and give Joyride a two out of ten. So if you want to watch a movie called Joyride this weekend, just stick to the Paul Walker original. Much better movie in every way. Uh, but did you see Joyride? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos soon, and Gavin, out.